So I didn't even know the Emmys were on on Sunday, and usually after these types of events, I see clips floating around Twitter mocking those celebrities and their latest antics. However, I'm not seeing much this time around. It seems like at this point, no one even cares enough to mock them anymore. I think that's true. We know what to expect. I think there was a, this is about a third of what the Emmys used to get, a third of the audience that the Emmys used to get. Virtually no one is watching, certainly nobody who matters, uh, who cares about the culture. It's, it, you know, it's a, that what you just showed is incredibly embarrassing. When you think about the fact that Jimmy Kimmel and Adam Carolla were the hosts of The Man Show, which was this politically incorrect show where they had girls jumping up and down in trampolines and they made fun of the fact that, you know, of what men are like. And now Adam Carolla, in order to preserve his integrity and to continue to be the moderate conservative that he is, has gone off to have his own podcast, which is one of the most popular podcasts in the country. Jimmy Kimmel, because he wanted to be in with the in crowd, he wanted to be on network television, has essentially rendered himself a eunuch, a political unit who's, eunuch who's screaming uh, Black Lives Matter at the behest of an actor. Uh, he, and this is a guy who used to do comedy in blackface. So it's really, it's really kind of ugly to watch. It's kind of a shame to watch. And it says something about the business as a whole, show business as a whole. Show business, really right now, the arts in general in America are in one of the deadest periods they've ever been. And the reason for that is leftist politics. It's not good for the arts, for everybody to have the same opinion. It's not good for comedy, for every comedian to have the same opinion. It's not good for television to have all the people who write TV, all the actors have the same opinion. This is a very complex world with a lot of people who see things differently. We on the right understand that there are people on the left who are acting in goodwill, but on the left, they basically basically think that their opinions make them virtuous and therefore anyone who disagrees with them is evil and must be silenced. Hollywood is running a, essentially a gray list, uh, if not a black list, against conservatives and it's just, it's just stripped the arts of any kind of excitement, any kind of interest, uh, any kind of controversy and has made them dull. So people are not only not watching the Emmys, there's really nothing on TV to watch altogether. Yeah, when it comes to putting people in boxes, we saw Jimmy Kimmel taking on the uh, role of the average white man. So then you could have the actor, I believe his name was uh, Anthony Anderson, kind of harangue him over systemic racism. However, I'm still looking for that systemic racism, seeing as the far left, they kind of, they control corporate America, they control the media, Hollywood, most politicians, the universities. I'm just wondering if they believe the institutions are racist, and if the left controls the institutions, then are they calling the left? racist? Well, the word systemic racism, it virtually is meaningless. It's, it can't mean anything, so you can't cure it, you can't confront it, you can't do anything about it. Institutional racism, which was a reality in this country for many years until the 60s, was a true problem that we had. We got rid of institutional racism. That's the only thing that po uh, the political process can do. It can't take racism out of people's hearts. It can't take uh, people. It can't make people take care of themselves. It can't get rid of the terrible great society welfare programs that have inculcated dependency and single parent homes in a lot of the black community, especially the poor black community. That's the real problem that we're dealing with. We're not dealing with racism. Most people in America could not care less as evidenced by the fact that we elected a black president twice. That's many of our uh, sports heroes, many of our show business heroes are black people. Nobody cares anymore except the Democrats. And the reason the Democrats care is because if they can convince black people that they're victims, they can continue to have the welfare programs that have funneled trillions of dollars into Democrat pockets in terms of patronage jobs, in terms of money to use as influence on votes, and in terms of votes and power. So really, that's what they're protecting. They're protecting the structure of a welfare state that has really hurt black people uh, and instead of actually helping people, which, by the way, Donald Trump did.